Okay, so we are going to look, we're going to do a review of this new app I've found called Notable Utility. It's been out for a while, I think, but it's free. It works on a Mac um, and a Windows machine, so you can utilize it. Oh my gosh, it's so great. And it's free, which is awesome. All right, so I'm just going to walk you through it. So this little fella is, or is on my Remarkable right now. And I'm going to... So I'm going to start my Remarkable. So I'm going to hold it for three seconds. One, two, three, and it will start. Now it says that first, but in a minute, maybe in 10 seconds, it, you'll see a progress bar along here and it'll be the screen that I have selected. So let's just do that. So there's my screen. Can you see the progress bar? That, I don't know why, that's just the way the software's written at the moment. That's just what's happening. So this is this is my panda bear collection. <laughs> They're so cute. All right, now the sleeping screen is that beautiful boy. Look at him. Wow. He's pretty cool, isn't he? Yes. All right, now I'm showing you that because we're going to change it to the Too Smart collection. All right, now the thing is, here are the rules. Let me, um, I'll go back to my uh, screen sharing and I'll walk you through it. All right, so the deal is you've got to have your Remarkable out of sleep mode, all right? And let me just, let me just video this. So we wanna take the Remarkable out of sleep mode, right? And you've got to be connected all the way around um to your uh, computer all right so we're out of sleep mode and we're connected all right let's go over to the laptop and i'll show you the software all right so here we are um here's the app here it, it this is the app it looks like a little beautiful little puppy dog sleeping <laughs> that's the um the icon that's pretty cool down here i've got a folder open with all my um, collections in it uh, and that's really great for me to just easily grab them and go. In e-ink pads, you have to actually call it what it was. So see down here, suspended.png. That is, you had to call, and you may still have to, I'm not sure. I am about to do, they've got some updated software. I'm about to do a review on their updated software. Um, and you've always had to give it the exact, exact same file name that Remarkable gives it. But on this app, you do not. So a notable utility, you do not. So, all right, I am just going to um, go through one, two, three. It's just three steps. They show you, uh, his name's David. He is at freezingblue.com. I'll pop the details both here and on the screen down below. He gives a lovely, um, uh, easy, very easy. This is the menu button, you click on that. Then you go to the settings right down the bottom. Then you click on about, and then you go in, click on copyrights and licenses. When you get in there, um, the very first page you're on has a big long lot of text as you can see. And right down the bottom, there is your username, your password and your IP address, which is what you need. Um, so then you connect to your device and I'm just gonna um, show you I haven't clicked test connection. I've connected before, so it remembers the details, but you will put your IP address in here. You will put your password in there and the username will be root. That's just the way it works. So then we're going to go test connection and it's connected because again, I'm not in sleep mode. Make sure your device is not in sleep mode, okay? And it's connecting. So then we go to the next section. So we had the welcome. We configured, connected and configured. Then we tested the connection and now we're in the screens and this is basically it. So down here, his default setting comes to sleeping and that's because that's the one you actually see the most. I recommend you start here, down here at the bottom two and go restarting power off. Look, you can change overheating and battery empty. I have no way of showing you those two. I'm not gonna do those two today. I'm just going to do starting and sleeping. Sleeping, let's do that first. What one picture do you want? Um, let's just go in. I was doing pandas. Go into my two smart range. Where is it? There it is. And
and I'm going to, it's very small, <laughs> it's very small to see, but I'm going to go with, let's go with number 11. You're beautiful, that's good, good for me. And if you click this contact details background, you will get the contact details that you've put into your Remarkable. Anyway, I'm going to click on save to device. It's doing all its bits. My Remarkable is on, otherwise you'll see an error message. So that's done. Now I'm going to go to starting. That is the other one you will see a lot of. Go to choose image. I'm coming back to my range. I'm going to go with number 12. Look, I can't see what it is right now. Too smart, of course. Save to device. Just wait for it. Done. And you don't have to restart each time like you do in other apps. The restarting screen, let's pick that one. Too, oh, I think that says too beautiful. Like, who doesn't, yes, who doesn't, who doesn't want to be called too beautiful? <laughs> let's do that. Uploading, file success. And last one that we're going to do is power off, choose image. You, you can go URL and community, just so you know. I'm using image, I'm just using my own images. Uh, I'm gonna go, there's one that says crazy beautiful now. Oh, there it is. I think I think that I've called it starting because you used to have the yeah, air crazy beautiful. That's cool. I love that. All right, so save to device. It's pretty simple. I mean, like it's pretty easy. I've used it a few times, have not had any glitches or anything. So power off screen set. Um, and just before I show you now on my Remarkable, on the community tab, people um, upload their pictures that they've drawn. So you may want to check that out too because there's some beautiful pictures in there. So back to screens. Um, all right, now let me video. Okay, just one second. Let me video the finished product. All right, so this is my Remarkable still on, but I haven't restarted it yet. So I'm actually going to restart it, not just... Uh, if I just tap it once, you can see it already has uploaded the sleep screen. You are beautiful. But what I want to do, I'll tap it again, get back in. I'm going to hold it for one, two, three, four. There you go. <laughs> I want to turn it off. Now watch the process it goes through, okay? Crazy beautiful. And you will see it will go into that default remarkable screen. And then it will have that progress loading bar. Uh, there's no way to get rid of that. I've tried it just it doesn't work. Oh, here's me waiting for it. I did this before. You have to actually restart it. So one, two, three. Right, so we turned it off for three. And then we restarted it for three. So this is, um, you can't get rid of this. this. This doesn't go anywhere. But I think it's just it's start up mode and then it comes up with that progress bar and one of your screens. So you can see this is the progress bar along here. It's going through all its checks and balances and it'll be on shortly. And there it is. And the sleep screen is, you are beautiful. So... How cool is that? That is a cool little app. Yes, it is. Love it. You are beautiful. Yes, you are. All right. So that's Notable Utility. I think it's a really cool program. I've, again, it hasn't glitched on me once. Not once. So it feels very stable and secure. Very easy. Um, love it. Uh, I didn't go into just some of your other settings here. You can... Play around with the image um, and you can also play around with the portrait landscape. Um, I've not done these yet so I can't really demonstrate those to you but I'm guessing that means you can create a picture that is landscape and it will show it um, in a landscape version which is really cool. I don't think I can even do that in e-ink pads, I'm just thinking. Anyway, I digress. Enjoy and give Dave some love however you do that. I'm not sure. Freezingblue.com. Um, yeah, let's just say thanks to Dave. <laughs> That's a good solid little app. Awesome. All right, I'll see you in the next one.